So once you make up your mind that it's not going to work, it doesn't work. And once you make up your mind that it is going to work and you will make it work, it actually works. And then one story that is, that is, you know, the clicking me right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Ask Farhan Show. Well, today we have a question along with request from Najma Mahmood that, sir, please one video for reviews of the book name You Can Win and according to you, which book we should read. Well, um, You Can Win is also one of my favorite books and I would recommend you to read out this one. And other than that, you know, once somebody asked me the question that which one is my favorite book or the books that I'm reading nowadays. So I made a video. You can find that answer in episode 5 of the Ask Parhan show. I would recommend you to watch that video. You will get the better idea. However, You Can Win is one of the books that you can actually just start reading and you won't be able to, to you know, put it away until or unless you don't complete it. You know, the readers usually say it and they put pressure on, on the people that we complete one book in four hours, five hours, six hours only. And we take like a pressure that there's such a boring activity. How can we sit on one seat and we, we are just reading a book? It's so boring nowadays because we have so many entertaining things. So... Uh, this is one of the book that when you will start, you won't be able to leave it until you complete it. If you are an entrepreneur, if you are if you are planning to do a business or if you're doing a business already. So this business, is, this book actually is one of my recommendations. You should read it out. And this actually happened with me that in 2018, this book was a gift from one of my friends. And I started reading it out in, in the evening and I completed it in four to five hours only. So this is something that happened with me as well. So uh, if you're not a reader, I would recommend you to read out this book. It's a very good book. And about the Shiv here, you know, uh, I was once listening to one of his TED Talk, I believe. So he was saying that once he was jobless, he was not doing any business. It was, uh, you know, all dark and black. He was not able to find out the way of his life. And he was sitting idle at home. So one day, uh, his wife read on a newspaper that there is a job available, which was a bit below the level of, of Shiv Khair. So what, what she did, she just came to Shiv Khair and said, like, this is the job on the newspaper. You must do this. So Shiv Khair said that I don't want to do this job. So his wife said that you are no one to say that you don't want to do this job. First, you have to apply over there, get selected. And then when they offer you the job, then you can say that I don't want to do this job. It's so easy to sit idle and say, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. But it's better that if you just apply for that, you just struggle for that. Once you achieve it, then you say that I don't want it. That was more like a motivation that you, if you are sitting idle, if you can't do anything, and if you cannot find out the way of your life, so you can't say that I can't find out the way. You have to go out. You have to you know, do struggle in order to, uh, to have something, experiences or some... You know, some achievement of first you get it and then you say, I don't want it. So that was a very good lesson that I learned from Shift Fair. And about this book, you know, if you want to build a positive mindset about your business, about your own self, about your own success, this is the best book that you can read. And, uh, you know, the, the beauty of this book is that whenever he has mentioned any of his own point of view, he has related with the short story. So the book contains the content then a story again the content again a story so he has made this book so easy there is no difficult there are no difficult words there and it's so easy to read and you can actually read it um even if you're not a reader quite frequent reader i know uh, i i have learned a lot from this book a few days before one of my friend uh, he said that, you know, the petrol prices are increasing in the country, the dollar price is increasing, the unemployment is there, there's no business opportunities, there is nothing in this country. So I requested him not to share these things with anybody and try not to say it out because people are making mindset on other people's words. So I requested him, even if you feel it like that, and there is another person who is looking from the positive perspective and who is looking for opportunities and who is starving that he is going to do something, he is trying to find out the business opportunities or the jobs or something, don't let him down. Don't give him the, the loser mindset. If you have created this mindset that there's nothing in this country, so you have to work on it instead of communicating it to the other people. And one story that even I shared with him in that meeting was from this book, um, you know, that Shiv Khair has mentioned that once there was a person who started his business, it was just a cart. Uh, he was selling something on the road by, by putting those things on the cart. 
and he was progressing slowly and steady and after that he added one more card three cards were there and the, the lighting was there people were actually stopping by to buy his product this is what was happening then his son um grew up and he also wanted to do something so so that person recommended him the person who was selling his products on the card recommended his own son that you just join the business and let's grow it let's take it toward the shop or or something big let's do let's do this food business to uh, the way it should get done and let's make it successful so son he was uh, he was an uh, educated guy so what he did he re read it in the newspaper that the country is going down the economy is about to fall and uh, the the there are no jobs available and people are really suffering because of their financial condition that's what he told his father on his first day of the business so what happened eventually he just started telling his father that we should minimize our daily expenses our monthly expenses and eventually they just removed a few of the bulbs from there so they just uh, minimize the lights which were there on the carts and eventually you know people were considering that they are might be they are also the victim of this financial crisis that's why they are they have reduced the lights and less people started to to stop by to buy the product and eventually what happened he also recommended that instead of three carts we can do the same business on two cards and then instead of two carts we can do the same business on one card and they were reducing the lights and they were not doing much um uh, you know like working on the marketing and eventually the business ended up so the father said it to the son that yes thank god you are educated and you read it already that the country is going down and we made our mindset it was not about the about the news which was written on the newspaper it was more about their own mindset that they had that now the business is not going to grow so once you make up your mind that it's not going to work it doesn't work and once you make up your mind that it is going to work and you will make it work it actually works so it's it's more about that that you know um, this book is something which is just talking about the positive perspective of your own mindset i would recommend you to read out this book and even one story that is that has you know the clicking me right now is one baby um was going to to the cart to buy balloon so he was saying that i want you to fill up this uh, this black balloon um and after that he said no uh, no i want you to fill up this this red balloon and then now i the green balloon or the white balloon so the shopkeeper said that it's not about the color of the balloon it's about what's inside the balloon which makes it fly so it's not about your outer self it's about your inner self it's not about how you present it's more about what exactly do you carry inside the knowledge the experience the exposure that you carry inside your mind and inside your you know your 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 thoughts and your everything like that so this is such a great book i would recommend you to read out this one and other than that you can watch the episode 5 i hope that i have motivated you enough to read out this book and if you have more question if you want to know more about the book i would recommend you to read out this book so just go and buy the book or even if you can buy the, the find the pdf format of the book on online so just to read out that one well nasman thank you so very much for asking this question and for this review um i hope you you got your answer and you are going to read out these books so hope to see you in the next video till then take care stay blessed bye bye allah hafiz